Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Can of Sync. So I thought something that would be really good to share with you is why I do not consume any factory meats whatsoever. And I've been on a meat-based diet for around 40 days now, and all I have eaten is pasture-raised meats. So they are eating the animals, specifically, that put the meat on my plate, that obviously has come from an animal and produced by the supplier that I buy it from. They always get to eat a diet that is natural for them. And there's very good reasons as to why I stay clear of those factory farm meats and just eat pasture raised animals. And I think it's very important for you to be aware of why. So for me, my number one priority is my health and longevity and vitality and my digestion and my gut health and just how I feel all round. So, when you're buying any foods, and we're gonna focus specifically on the meat, the cleaner the meat is, and the higher quality it's gonna be, the greater improvement I'm gonna to get with all of those things I've just mentioned, and many other things as well. So, if you're gonna pay for crap, you're not gonna feel the best that you possibly can and optimize your longevity. So, for me, I am trying to buy animals that are eating in a way that would be as close to possible as they would be eating in their natural environment. Why would I want to eat factory farmed animals? Think about it. Factory farmed animals are normally fed grains, corn, and soy. And guess what? They're not designed for that, which then causes them a lot of health issues and sickness and a lot of other issues as well. So then they have to be given a ton of antibiotics, which then goes within the meat, and then when you're consuming it, it's going into you. And guess what antibiotics means? Anti-life. It destroys bacteria, not just good bacteria, but also the bad bacteria as well. And so many people already have a compromised gut microbiome, and you really do not want to be intaking meat with antibiotics if you want the best gut health and digestion and elimination and simulation of nutrients. And why would you want to be consuming sick animals that are in these factory farms where they're all crammed together and it's just like the worst environment for them possible? It's just like when you look at pasture raised animals that are completely outside, the ones I get are allowed as much outside access as they want. They do have an indoor environment but they never close them in there. They can go in and out freely as much as they want, which just seems the best thing possible. And when you look at it from an ethical point of view, these factory farms, being crammed in a cage, you are being completely enslaved. It's not nice. And so no, not everyone cares about ethics, but getting pasture-raised animals and the meat that comes from them is the most ethically sourced meat that you can possibly get. So it isn't just good for my health, it's also better for the animals. Animals that get to free roam outside, they look so happy. Like these pigs you can see that come from the supplier that I buy pork from time and time again. Look at them, they're free roaming around. They look completely happy. And they look really, really healthy. Unlike pigs in factory farms, oh my God. They are so highly toxic because they're all crammed in and they're just surrounded by their waste and all this other toxic stuff. And it's just like, man, it's just not good for you at all. Like, yeah, so they are some of the reasons, but there's many other reasons as to why. They also give cows, for example, growth hormone. And the growth hormone is shown to be carcinogenic, which means it's cancer causing. And it's shown to cause a lot of other different health issues mentally and physically, holistically as well. So do you really want that synthetic hormone crap in your body? No, why would you? It's not health promoting whatsoever. And it's very stimulating, like coffee. So a lot of people that are consuming factory farm meat, they think they're getting a lot of energy from it, when actually it's just stimulation from the bovine growth hormone that is injected within them rather than you actually getting an abundance of nutrients in the highest density form possible in meat. Because when you compare factory farm meat to pasture raised animals, guess what? You have way more minerals. The omega-6 content is way less in pasture raised meat in comparison to factory farm meat. And it has way more omega-3, those essential fatty acids known as EPA and DHA. And we have an epidemic with people having chronic inflammation throughout 
their whole body. And it's one of the number one root causes of health issues. And there is many people that switch to a carnivore diet and they feel amazing. And then there's a lot of people that don't. I started getting amazing benefits from day one. And within about a couple of weeks, I just got all of the benefits that I could possibly get from it. I'm gonna still continue to get benefits from doing it over a long period of time on this carnival based diet. I'm not doing 100% carnival diet. I'll be speaking about that in a video very soon. So if you wanna know the answer to that, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button so you'll be notified of when that new video is uploaded. If you don't click the bell notification button, you will not be notified. So make sure you do that. And then the vitamins such as beta carotene and vitamin D and a variety of B vitamins and other vitamins have been shown to be way higher in pasture raised animals with animals such as cows that are grass fed. So if you want to get the most maximum nutrition possible from the meat you're eating and the lowest amount of garbage toxic crap in it, such as synthetic pharmaceuticals that are injected within them, then you wanna be eating pasture raised animals and not consume factory farm meats whatsoever. And I believe if you wanna feel the best, you put the best fuel in your body. That's what most people do with their car, but most people normally put better fuel in their car than they do in their body. So just be as mindful as you possibly can around this. And if you do consume a lot of factory farm meats, try experimenting with eating only pasture raised animal that are antibiotic free, hormone free, fed a natural diet, and that are preferably free range as well and give them the best life possible. Try that out for 30 days if you've been on a carnival based diet or just any type of meat based diet. And I'm telling you, you are gonna feel significantly better than you are feeling right now on a factory farm meat based diet without a doubt. But I know not everyone has access to these types of farms. And if you're someone that hasn't got much of an income, well, to be honest, I never used to have a lot of income a very long time ago, but I found ways to increase my income. You may not have control over the weather, the government, your friends, your family members, but you do have control over your income. And there is many ways to make money. Just find a way to increase your income because health is true wealth. And if you are not sourcing the best food possible, you cannot expect to feel the best that you could feel emotionally, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And something that's really funny, there's a lot of people out there, especially in the carnivore movement, that say, oh, there's nothing wrong with factory farm meat. It's completely healthy, it's completely good for you. But I think a lot of those types of people just want to get everyone on a carnivore diet as much people as possible. So to make it as easy for as many people to get on it as possible, they say, well, you don't necessarily need grass-fed or pasture-raised animals whatsoever, and factory farm meat is okay. But I say that is absolute garbage. If literally someone doesn't have access to those types of meats and you literally cannot afford them whatsoever and you're going in a direction to try and make more income, which I recommend that you do, then yeah, you could eat factory farm meats, but I wouldn't recommend it long-term at all. It's just not good. And there is quite a few people that say they're not thriving on a carnivore diet, even when doing it for months and months and months and months and months. And guess what? Every single one I find out that says they're not thriving and feeling the best, guess what the situation is? They're eating mostly or all factory farmed animals. But guess what? I have seen from the people that are feeling the best, they eat mostly or all pasture raised animals. They're antibiotic free and hormone free. And yeah, just think about it, come on. Would there be factory farms out in our natural environment? Or would there be animals that are not enslaved completely that free roam and are pasture raised where they just get to eat whatever they want in a natural environment? Hmm, no factory farms at all. Now something that's being created by human, it's a very toxic environment. It creates very toxic animal foods that are not the most nutrient dense and cause inflammation and just are not good for the environment, your health or the animals in any way, shape or form. It's detrimental to all of them. And it has been shown that pasture raised animals actually help with greenhouse gas emissions and our environment overall. And guess what? They're not chopping down a lot of the rainforest. So yeah, this is just food for thought. I hope you've taken on board what I have shared with you today. And I hope that it gives you a new perspective that can maybe help you on your own journey and for you healing yourself and for you feeling the best. So that's it from me in this video. Leave your questions down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. 
Enjoy the rest of your day and catch you on the flip side. Peace.